very smooth shifting transmission so far. And like I said before, the seating is just, it's really comfortable. The steering wheel feels good on my hands. Just an overall good driving experience. Then we're just gonna take it here on the interstate. And I do have it in sport mode, so We'll put it in the Sport Plus and see what it does. I'm gonna take over the paddle shifters. And you really do get the, the full feel of shifting this car. And one thing I do like about, especially in Sport Plus mode, a lot of your manual shifts and things of that nature, when you're trying to do them, especially on cars that are supposed to be economical. The paddles don't really, they're not as good. Like the shifts aren't as clean. It doesn't actually listen to your shifts, but in this Sport Plus mode, down shifts are seamless, up shifts, seamless as well. And for this being a 2.4 liter and naturally aspirated, it's very, very nimble. You can tell it's not a turbo, but it does, it drives almost like a V6 to me. I'm gonna try and test the adaptive cruise control out on the back road because I didn't get a chance to really used it on the highway. And the engine's very quiet. And, you know, it is kind of like an Acura. Acuras aren't really known to have really loud exhausts or loud engines unless you get the, you know, the race models of them. But this, it's still very nice. In this economy mode, it's it's good, but after driving in that sport mode, I really just want to get back to sport mode, so I'm going to put that back. I've got the lane keep assist on now. And here I've got the adaptive cruise control on now. And even though I've got it set to cruise at 39, it's doing 35 to match the distance between myself and the car in front of me. Let's increase that a bit. Let's see if it'll stop. Yeah, it's already stopping for me, yeah. So I'm not touching the gas or the brakes at all, and it's stopping me right now. I just think it's crazy how far cars have come in terms of technology, it's just, it's insane. I mean, depending on the lanes and with adaptive cruise control on, if it were to stay in the lanes, I don't know if it'll do that on the right side. I'm sure it'll do it on the left side, but I mean, you can basically, your 20, 30, 40,000 dollar cars are now becoming almost autonomous.
but an overall great ride from this car very smooth and there's the adaptive cruise control stopping me again and there it is accelerating for me And it's right around lunchtime, so it's pretty crowded. But you're supposed to get, I mean, you can get upwards of 30 miles a gallon on the highway in this car. But that's my review of the 2020 Acura TLX 2.4 liter.